TD Amanda is the number one stock screener and scanner. This is how we're finding these winners early, guys. Uh, simple to use by total beginners. Got advanced features for professional traders. Great support. Uh, one hour free one on one training. And check out these testimonials. I mean, they're off the hook. Uh, guys love this program and they're making a ton of money. Okay, I got it pretty well cleaned up. It actually rained a little bit last night. But I ground some of this down to make it look prettier and uh, all these are halfway clean. Let's run something through here. Clean that out. Yeah. Inside is good, I think. So, where are my seals? Got windy. Blew off the table. Alright, let's do this little guy first. The lips go toward the ram, or toward the piston rather. These lips go down, and it goes in this little groove here, right there. So, this one's a little tricky. Man, it's really windy. What happened? So we got this all lubed up. This one's, from what I remember, this was always a little, a little tricky. Oh, look at that. I'm just pressing it in here. Maybe I figured out the method. <laughs> Look at that. This is how you do it, guys. You just start at one end and go around until she pops in. There we go. Look at that. That was easy. All right, let's do let's do this one. This one also the lips the lips go down. Now, last time I had a <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do this stupid thing and uh let's give her some lube the hydro fluid. So what you do is you take this and you just hang it off of those two, okay? And then you open these up and you turn it into a little jelly bean. Okay. Like that. And I screwed up. The lips go down. <laughs> so, okay. So you hang it off of here. Then you open up these two like that and you turn it into a jelly bean like that and then you stick it in here and then you release it and pull that out and it should pop in lift up that part there it is okay our lips are down our lips are down on this one Double check. I see lips. Okay, well, we did that. Those are two toughies. What else we got? Let's do this. Uh, this one here. This guy's pretty easy. We don't need that anymore. this one this is some kind of a wiper but it's pretty easy that's the one that goes down here now let's lube this one up a little bit just for grins and go like that stick it in there push it down until it snaps okay so we got that in that's three 
Now I want to do, that's the only three that go on the inside. Now I'm going to do this one and I'm going to get my famous, uh, oh yeah this will work. I'm going to get my famous aircraft sealer. I don't know why I use this shit but I just do. <laughs> uh, it's probably not needed. But I started doing it and now I'm stuck. I gotta do it. It's kinda cold. So where is that one? This one is should be only one only one's left. Not that one. There it is. Okay. Dun da 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 this is the one, this is the wiper, and it does not go like this. It goes like this, okay? Because it has to wipe, so the lips on the wiper go away from the piston, okay? So, I'll give it a little bit of this stuff. Aircraft uh, gasket maker, damn. Uh, aviation. It, Permatex Aviation, it, it's supposed to be liquidy, but it's dried out, so but I can smear it on here, I think. Wow, maybe not. I thought I had some that's more liquidy. Maybe I'll look for it. This doesn't work. Huh. Maybe it doesn't like hydrofluid. Let me go find the kind that's more liquidy. I can't find it. Maybe that it was this, but it just got, you know, the top actually broke off. Yeah, it's smearing on now. I don't know what they make this out of. I think it's pine tar or something. I should probably cut this part. It would help if it was warmer. Well, it might stop it from rusting. <laughs> Man, if the case guys could only see this, what I'm doing to their poor machine, but it's their fault. They're the ones that had obviously some kind of design flaws to where, you know, that's not supposed to rust there. It should have like an O-ring here or something. I think the old ones did. Or but you know what, they're probably c cutting costs and all this other bullshit, you know, save a few pennies here and there. Alright, that's not going to affect anything. So what you do is you set it up here, so it's kind of straight. And you put a piece of block of wood on top of here, and you smack the hell of it out of it with your dead blow. Ready? Boom! <laughs> Alright, so that's in with the lips up like it's supposed to be and these are the lips down and down we got one more piece to do and that's our green one green baby why this why they put this one in here I don't know 
but that's the last one. So, let's uh, lube that up. Lube. And get it started. And just uh, get it started and just, you know, go around. Wow, look at that, snapped right in. So there you go. We are done with this. Got no more parts in here. So remember this green one is the one that replaced the uh, the O-ring and the orange backup, you know. So now it's time to put the ram through here and I'm really going to lube the shit out of all this lube 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 soak it in lube I had a thought when I was going to sleep that maybe what I can do is I've got some assembly lube for other purposes look at this ultra slick baby and I think what I'm going to do is put this on the uh, on the end of the ram. Okay. So let's clean let's clean the tip of this. Look at that, my wire wheel. In fact, let's just clean the whole ram. I don't think there's anything on here. Put a little bit of this uh, assembly lube on the tip. What do you think, guys? You think that's a good idea? It's a pretty color. Okay, we got lots of lube. So stand this up. And there it is. It started. Right upside down. Ooh, sun. Oh, look at that. And there we go. Our gland has been rebuilt and inserted. It went in real easy, so maybe this was a good idea. Huh. Ultra slick. A marital aid. <laughs> marital aid. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap, so I'm feeling a little bit feisty. Okay, so now it's time to go. I have to prepare the assembly station because now we're going to put this and the bolt. A little bit of surface rust on that, but that's okay. That nah, looks fine. So now we are going to. I'm going to set up the assembly station over by the car, by the Honda Fit. You know why they call it a fit? Because everything fits. I can put an eight foot step ladder in that sucker. Can you believe that? In my Honda Fit, an eight foot step ladder. No problem. All right, let me do that and uh, get everything ready. And we'll put this back on here and then we'll, fill, we'll put it, reinsert. Reinsert it into the cylinder. Okay, I'm all set up in our surgical area here. This goes there. And I like this assembly loop so much, I'm going to put a little bit on the outside here. Because this goes in here the right end. Probably get my dead blow. Let me get my dead blow. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll just stand this up. Let's stand it up. And tap this down. There it goes. 
Okay, so that's in. See if I made any mistakes. Three seals on the inside, one on the outside. The wiper. Correct, correct, correct. And now we have to put some Loctite on here. This is number 243. Now let's juice this baby up. So she doesn't come undone. And this time the bolt just starts right up. So let's torque her on with some. Okay. Damn it. I gotta push that pin in or something because it doesn't want to come out. Fuck. What have I got? Oh, look at that. I just found a nail. <laughs> there we go. Put that on. Well, maybe put this on first. And we're gonna torque the shit out of this thing. Well, it's already pretty tight. And maximum whammy. So, take the uh, massive cheater I have. Look at this cheater. And torque, baby. Stand on it. I want this closer. Get a new grip. Get a new bite on this. Not hard to lift that. There we go. Move this up a little bit. Not as much gap. And they say 1,300 foot-pounds, so I'm just going to max it out the most I can give her. I'm hanging on it. Okay, so let's figure out how much torque we gave her. So, I weigh a buck eighty five. This thing is come on. Eighty inches, what's that? Almost seven feet, so let's just say six feet times hundred and eighty five, let's just say two hundred. So I gave her a little bit less than 1,200 pounds. And that ought to be good. I'm hanging on this like a monkey. <laughs> Alright, one ram completed. My dad committed suicide right there. Blew his brains out. Anyway. Okay, we're done here. Now it's time to put her in. Let's take her over to the insertion area. Crap everywhere, but I am prepared. 
Okay, lube, hydrofluid. Let's pour some on here. And put a little bit on there. And pull out the paper towels. And ready for insertion. Red T4 insertion. There she goes. And I kept this loose over here so I don't get air locked. But see, look at the air coming out. See that? There should be no fluid left in here. Let's just take it off. And we'll push it in. Ooh, <laughs> she farted. Okay, now, anti seize baby. Anti seize me. Anti seize me today. Anti seize me. <laughs> this is the shit. This is like 18 bucks for this. It's got copper in it or some bullshit. Anti seize thread. Number 13, baby. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, there's that. So now, I loop the shit out of that, lift it up a little bit, and push it on. And then it should start. The screws should engage. Let me get my magic wrench. Magic wrench, where are you? There you are. And then we get the... F All we got left is that one. I still haven't got that pin to budge. Fucking crap. I love this thing. This thing's nice. Okay. Look at that. She's just spinning right on. It's getting a little bit tight. That's why we that's why God invented cheaters. She's getting a little bit He says, I don't know, things feel different, Dad. I don't know if I want to go in here again. It's all dark in there. It's scary. Shut up. Get in there. <laughs> That's where you were supposed to be. That's where you were born. Well, I'm not born, but, you know. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I might have fucked up because I went too far. I went too far in. Crap. Now I gotta pull it out again. Shit. See that? I need to line that up with there. Oh, you know what I can do? Fuck. I can force her with the hydraulics, but. Shit. I don't know if I can pull that out again. I might be in trouble. Okay. 
I can't pull it out. That's good, but I got to loosen this one because now we got airlock on this side. But that's good to know. Good to know. So we can continue with this. We can continue. Continue. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's tight. Man, what a job this was, you know? Your basic nightmare. Your basic nightmare. Except that little one up front. That one. That's starting to worry me. I'm starting to get worried. Okay. Well. Should be tightening up here any second now. Okay, that's it. Now let's see where we are. Because we have to line up with that hole there. You know what? I think I'm there. Now a little bit more. A little bit more. Put some whammy on her. See where we are now. See the hole on this needs to go. Well, <laughs> it don't matter anymore. <coughs> it don't matter anymore because I fucked all that up. But we'll we'll get her as tight as we can. Let's just tighten her up some more. There. Yeah, I'm right in the middle of this part, so that bolt I made, it's going to screw in there. Shit. See, that's <laughs> that's supposed to be just a little hole there. But look what I did. Bad mechanic. Bad, bad mechanic. <laughs> All right, that's tight. It's about where it was, I think. That mark there is lining up. That one. Okay. Bad mechanic. Bad mechanic. Bad, bad, bad. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, I gotta loosen this and pull this out so we can put the pin in. All right, let me get the wrench for that. Yeah, I uh, thought I wouldn't have to loosen this one. What the fuck? Different size? Oh, I'm on the wrong. Look at that. This one's a different size than that one. What the fuck? Dudes, one inch. Seven eighths. Let me delete this shit. Seven eighths plus a backup. Let's put this one there. I think I'm going to need a backup there. I think all I got to do is loosen it enough to bleed some air out of it. Okay, let's see what happens now. I'm glad she's coming out. I was worried about that. Oh, now she did. Now she doesn't want to come out more. Gotta open it up more. Because, 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 because of the fucked up things he does. Da -da 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 -da. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Well, that's not. 
Nothing is fucking easy. Yeah, there's too much uh, fluid. It's not. It's not letting. Not letting enough air out. But it's good to know that the ram is tight, huh? I would have been smart. Well, you know what? I might have had to loosen this one too. No, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> You know, I was thinking the other day, I wonder if aliens have screws. I mean, would that, would a screw or, you know, incline plane, all that bullshit, would that be, you know, universal through the universe, even though that, you know, total aliens have total different technology, I'm sure, but I wonder if they have screws. Now, they wouldn't necessarily have nails because... You know, nails are only if they had wood. But screws and bolts and nuts. I mean, I wonder if there's anything else that would do the same thing. Maybe that's enough. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, let's lower it a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so now I can dead blow it in. This one out. There. What's our height? A little bit high, but we can slide this one down. And adjust it, micro adjust with this one. All right, dead blow. <laughs> Back to the back to here and get our dead blow, dead blow mojo. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because of the fucked up things he does. I turned this down. I took a few thou off of it. A little bit higher. There we go. She's in, baby. Tap, 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 tap. One more. And we got enough for this rings. Just barely. Okay. Now, tighten all these back up. And we'll cycle it. See if we did good or not. Remember, don't don't over tighten this. Just get it snug. And fifteen sixteenths. If it leaks, tighten it a little more. Okay? No problem.
What's today? January 7th. You know, yesterday on all the news, fucked up mainstream media, they had this fucking uh, memorial for January 6th or some bullshit. You know? January 6th, oh, I, I saw something. Uh, Tucker Carlson had an interview with this congressman that basically said the whole January 6th thing was just a trap. They, uh, they had over 200 fucking FBI assets in the crowd, and they had some inside, too. They had the FBI guys inside, because, here's the thing, the Capitol, I guess, is a maze. It's like, you know, they would never, those guys that went in there would never have been able to find, like, Pelosi's office or any of that other bullshit without somebody guiding them, so... They were already in there before the people even got inside, the, the FBI assets. And they were showing them, you know, leading them, going to tell them where to go. Oh, where's Pelosi's office? Oh, come right here. Come this way. So the whole thing is a fucking farce. I mean, I always thought it was, but can you believe that shit? And not only that, but for months it's prior to, you know, the, the big rally and everything, they were, had infiltrated all these groups and shit, and they'd like you know, got them ready for, you know, what was going to happen. Pretty crazy, huh? Okay, this is tight. I don't have the bolt in here yet, but that's okay. I don't have the clips on here, but that's okay. Uh, hydraulics are tight. Let's uh, see if she works. And start her up. I don't know, it's cold. I've, I've been running this battery down by starting it a bunch of times. She may not even start. Hello, Mr. Bismarck. That's Bismarck. My mom gave me that. Silver. Ooh. I forgot something. Fuck. I uh, have a loose hydraulic line up there in front. It just started pouring out. Fuck. That was stupid. Well, I didn't know. I didn't realize. Okay, let's try it one more time. I tightened those. Good thing I noticed that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to charge that battery. Seems to be working. All right. Next, uh, we're going to have some lessons in tempering because when I heated that up, that pin, I uh, took the temper out of this. So we're going to retemper this thing because right now it's uh, deformed. <laughs> These are the ones for the little guy. Okay, onward and upward. Okay, I took a little bit off the end of that bolt, so now it looks halfway decent. 
that's in there pretty good pretty tight so that's done I know it looks funky but fuck it as long as it works that's all that matters okay everybody that tries Dee Dee Amanda absolutely loves her these are all unsolicited, by the way. We didn't even ask people. I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. So worth it. Probably made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Having everything I need to research on one page is definite time saver. Single day, 1525 profit. 15K on my first TD. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this one, man. This guy says he made 30 million. <laughs> read this shit I don't know I, he, he sounds kind of legit <laughs> I fucking love D.D. Amanda your program is the best tool I've ever used in the last 20, 21 years it just goes on and on okay if you trade stocks or if you're even thinking about trading stocks this is for you guys this is what you need uh, this is D.D. Amanda it's the number one stock screener and scanner that's out there um and it uses both uh, user input and AI to find and research winning stocks. And this is, it says right here, easy enough to use by total beginners. Um, there's really no learning curve at all. You can be finding stocks within about five minutes after you, you know, log in. And it also has a lot of advanced features that uh, are used by professional traders. Our mission is to help you make money by investing in stocks. That's the bottom line. That's what you want from something like this, you know. Now, I use this all the time, and I've found some amazing runners. Uh, you've got here, look at this. They give you one hour of free one-on-one -on -one training and instant support. Having good support on a program is just so critical, you know. I mean, here's their phone number right here. You can just call and text. Um, they've got some testimonials here. I want to show you these. Because uh, they're pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This is what people think of her. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. Uh, this guy made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Uh, everything I need to research. Uh, I wasn't even in Amanda one, one week and he made 10,000 bucks. So these testimonies, it just goes on and on here. So anyway, they've got a, if you want to try, uh, look at all these features, uh, dollars traded, 7MA crossovers, all sorts of stuff. Um, but they've got an $8 tri a day trial subscription, so you can check her out and see if you like her. Um, I and mean, some other subscription levels here. Anyway, I highly recommend this, guys, and uh, do check it out and make some money.